Hi guys, I wanted to make this tutorial today to show you um, how you can improve the visuals in Grand Theft Auto 5 um, by using a tool called Reshade. Um, Reshade works with all 64-bit games that I've tested and all my 32-bit games as well so far. Um, I haven't come across any problems with it. Um, so you're kind of probably wondering what Reshade is. Um, well, Reshade is a kind of like an advanced post-processing injector for games, similar to SweetFX, and in fact it kind of uses it side by side. Um, the tool kind of allows you to add, as I said, processing effects to both new and old games, um, things like ambient occlusion, uh, depth of field effects, color corrections, and you can also inject SMAA or FXAA anti-aliasing with a very little uh, performance uh, loss. Um, these can really help boost the appearance of the game and overall give you better visuals, um, similar to the way SweetFX works, but in a bit of a simpler way. So uh, I'm just going to go to and show you guys a couple of other examples. So uh, here's a couple of examples of uh, reshade in action. Um, you toggle it on and off with the scroll lock key, and you can see here on the right hand side is the um, the effect being applied. And then if you scroll lock again, it's just back to normal. So you can use this to um, check the differences between them. Um, and you see on this roadway is a better, probably a better example. Um, it looks much sharper on the right hand side. You know the tarmac, the gravel, it, it kind of is a little bit sharpened and it makes it just pop out overall and makes the colors look more, I don't know, natural, the shader is better. Um, and here on this final example you can see this fuel tank and, and the kind of scenery and even in the background if you look at the difference when it's toggled on and off you can see it definitely helps bring the kind of sharpness out of the textures and um, just make it a little crisper overall. So in the next stage I'm going to get into uh, the files you're going to need. So to get reshade you're going to want to come to Google and uh, just type in reshade um, and click on the first link here and this will bring you to the reshade website. As you can see here is a kind of example of a type of effect you can get by using reshade. That's depth of field. Um, so you want to come down to the bottom here and you'll see a blue reshade plus sweet effects 2.0. You want to click on that and that will bring you to uh, this Mediafire page where you can download the archive file. So just hit download and uh, that will download the archive to your hard drive. Um, now uh, you want to come back to Google and you want to type in SFX the lazy and uh, this will bring you to the Sweet FX settings database which is where we'll get our config file for GTA so type in Grand Theft Auto into the side and uh, hit enter and uh, you'll see GTA 5 in the drop down list and just choose that and uh, we want the second one here K puts config 1.1 um, and you can see some kind of information about it here. Uh, you can read that in your own time, it's, it's not necessary, but uh, you just want to hit download preset here at the bottom and this will download the text file which we can use as our configuration file for uh, reshade. So when you're done all that, uh, you'll end up with these two, fol or these two files. Um, one is the archive of all the reshade files and the other is the config file for reshade. So um, what you want to do is rename it just so you kind of know what you're uh, working with and you can delete the archive if you if you want. Um, so uh, the, and the next step I'll get into is uh, installing Reshade. So to install Reshade you want to come back to the folder we renamed and open it up and inside you'll see a number of files. We want to click on the Reshade setup um, exe here and uh, if you right click it and run it as administrator this window will pop up. So if you choose select game then you want to browse to the uh, directory where you have GTA 5 installed. For me, that's program files. And there's three separate launchers here. Now, you need to choose the bottom one, the Play GTA 5 launcher, or else it won't work. Um, hit Open. And it'll say Analyzing Grand Theft Auto, and it'll now try and launch the game through the game launcher. But it will fail. It says Auto Detection Failed. So if you cancel here at this point, and there's a series of options here, you want to choose Direct 3D 10 slash 11, and then hit Run again and uh, it'll again try and start the launcher and uh, you can just cancel this now just for the sake of uh, quickness um, so if you come back to that settings file for GTA that we downloaded and uh, if you just right click on it and click rename and just type in SweetFX uh, underscore settings uh, make sure the S in settings at the start is uh, lowercase and uh, now just right click on that and hit copy and then come back to the directory where we where the game is and uh, there's a folder going to be created called SweetFX. If you open that up 
uh, they'll, you'll see another folder called Sweet Effects. You just want to paste in this and replace the existing one. And uh, now we'll have our GTA profile in here ready to go. So I just wanted to go over the basics of making some configuration file edits. So you want to come back to your uh, game installation directory and uh, to the Sweet Effects folder that was created by Reshade. And in here is your Sweet Effects settings. And uh, if we open that up with Notepad, um, you'll see that it's uh, the config file for GTA 5 that we downloaded. And all the settings in here have been specified um, by the person who made it. And if you come down here to the area that says um, choose effects, you can see uh, a large series of options here, sepia, tone mapping, vignette, you know, different types of anti-aliasing. And if, if you see each uh, option has a 1 or a 0 next to it, 1 being enabled and 0 being disabled. So obviously you make the edits you want and try out different effects by toggling on and off the 1s and zeros. Um, I want to enable split screen so I can test what it looks like in comparison, so I'd put a 1 in there. Um, as you can see, each option as you go further down is broken down into an individual category which has loads of tweakable kind of parameters that you can play around with and there's some kind of help, helpful limits uh, specified there so you don't go too far wrong. Um, but this is a vast array of options here so you can really customize and play around with it as much as you like. And you can see that the option list keeps going all the way down so there's uh, tons of stuff in here for you to play around with if, if you want to. I mean, this isn't necessary. <clears throat> you can get up and running with just the config file that you download, but it's nice to make some edits yourself because uh, not not everyone likes the kind of default look. So when you're done with that, you want to come up to the top and hit File and Save. And now you want to make sure that um, it saves it as a .txt file, and you have to specify the encoding type as ANSI. If it's UTS-8, it, it won't work. You'll get a syntax error when you try and compile the shader. So save that and then you can close it out and you're, uh, then you're ready to kind of bring it into the game and see how it looks and test it out um, on the fly, which I'll cover next. Okay, so after you've made all the configuration file edits that you want to make, the next thing you really want to do is, is launch the game and get your profile in there and kind of test out how it looks. So if you go ahead and launch GTA 5 and uh, let it do its thing, um, the window, the, the game window should pop up. Now it might be a little bit laggy on startup. You'll see the FPS uh, in the screen kind of drop down to like seven or eight FPS, but just hit the uh, scroll lock key and that will disable reshade and uh, the frame rate will go back up to 30. I think it's just a bug in this version of reshade, but it, it doesn't actually happen in the game or anything like that. It's just the intro menus. And you'll see you'll be greeted if your profiles work successfully with that text on the screen that was at the middle at the start there. So um, we'll just, uh, hopefully get into the game here and uh, what you want to do is is kind of test out your effect obviously see did does the say the split screen work and um, uh, that way you'll know your profile is working correctly and everything is fine and when you toggle on and off the scroll key you should see up in the top left corner and um, that kind of welcome greeting thing come up um, so I'll just let this load here there we go. Okay, so we're in the game now and we can toggle on and off our effect uh, by pressing, as I said, the scroll lock key. Um, and the, the thing is, is once you have uh, the kind of effect that you like, you can obviously turn off scroll lock. Um, but the good thing about it is being able to edit this stuff on the fly without having to need to close the game and, and reload the game and reload reshade and all that because it can compile kind of on the fly. So um, what you can do is you just pause the game and um, alt tab out to your desktop and come back to your uh, configuration file and uh, inside the sweet effects folder you'll see your sweet effects settings file that we put there earlier and um, now in here you can say just turn off uh, split screen so that we can uh, have a full screen effect for this example so um, if you remember come up to the top hit save as make sure that encoding type is on ANSI and it's a TXT file and just always click that it just seems to make it work every time so you can come back to the game now and um, you'll see it says uh, enabled sweet effects and that'll be full screen now so when I toggle it off there and then back on you'll see the effect and it'll come up in the corner to let you know um, 
So that's really it, guys. Um, I hope you guys can have some fun with Reshade. It's a really um, kind of cool tool, so have some fun with it. Play around and see what you can come up with. That's it from me, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.